Hello and welcome back. So in the previous video we have created our player graphics as you can see. Now we are ready to create some movement and it's a good idea that we started with the camera. For this we will be using the Cine machine which is Unity solution for creating interactive camera movement. It makes it really easy to set up pretty advanced camera behavior without writing a single code. So for adding the cine machine, let's go ahead and click on this window, then click on this package manager. Right here, we can select this Unity registry and in here, you can simply search from right here as well. But if you see right here, we have this cine machine. So we need to just simply click on this install. And now in a moment it will be installed so as you can see it is now added right here you can see we have the cinema machine tab right here and we have different type of option to create any camera so now we have the cinema machine added now if we minimize this right here as you can see we have this winner file let's extract that here and as you can see we have this folder so what we will do we will simply drag and drop this inside our project and guys you can find this file in the resources so make sure to download that now let's drag and drop this we will basically add this inside our prefabs folder and if we click on the prefab we have the warehouse and we have this animation right here so we have the aim cine machine and we have the third person cine machine now let's just simply drag and drop the third person cine machine as you can see you can actually click on this unpack completely and as i told you cine machine is basically a visual camera and as you can see it has a set of defined behaviors as you can see and that behaviors control our main camera right here so in main camera we need to add the cine machine frame so right here we will search for cine machine frame okay now our main camera will be controlled by this third person cine machine and let me check it where is it okay it is right here so let me move it down okay let's move it down a bit Actually, we want to put it right here somewhere on the player okay. Let me move this right here so that we see where our camera is. Okay, here is our player. Let's move it like this. we want some space for the candy okay. so let's move it like this and since we will be firing from the right side so we can basically move this camera a bit to the right side and then what we will do is to simply do this okay so that we have this window a little bit bigger and wider okay like this now let's uh, set the camera okay so I think we will move this like this okay and it looks good like this okay so you can basically put the third person cine machine wherever you want, okay? And at the side, you can see the different values, for example, the follow and the look at. So we want it to follow the player and look at the player, okay? So this cine machine will now. Follow the player, and if you click on this, 
then we will get this window of guides and then we can set the camera however we want okay as you can see now we have this animation camera we can move to the left and to the right we can look up we can look down okay and guys this this M C machine and third person cine machine is created by me actually okay i designed these two things already so that we don't spend much of time on this and if you want to create your own cine machine to whatever look you want then you can just simply create a virtual camera from there and then you will get these options okay which are right here and you can set it to whatever you want you can change the horizontal axis blending range to whatever you want okay and we have this cine machine collider as well you will get to know what this uh, cine machine collider will do but in the future videos okay so now we have added the third person cine machine and guys let me tell you the reason we are using the virtual camera instead of the other cameras because this camera is snappy and as i told you you will make the player movement snappy and quick so for that purpose we are using the virtual camera as you can see right here our camera movement is really smooth as you can see we don't allow the camera to move inside the player body as you can see okay it looks really good like this and let me tell you more about this cine machine is right here we have the body and the aim so the body is how the camera moves and the aim is how the camera looks okay and basically you can make changes in them for example if we change the horizontal axis speed to 5 and now let's play the game and as you can see now the speed is now fast and it is damn fast okay so you can simply change this to whatever you want for example now i will change this to 2 and also the vertical axis speed to 2 as well because we want it a little bit faster okay so like this it is good okay as you can see and if you see right here we have the input axis name so on the vertical axis it is set to mouse y and on the horizontal it is set to mouse x and now if we check the body as you can see we have the x damping the y damping z damping and then we have the target movement only and from here you can simply move the camera to the left to the right but I will leave this on the 0.24 and also you, if you want the camera to be like this you can do that but we want my camera to be at minus 0.11 and if I show you in the full window as you can see it looks good like this but let's just actually move it a little bit down so we can just simply decrease this screen y value now if we play the game as you can see now we have a really beautiful city machine and let me just do 0 0.27 because that will be a really good value for this and you can remove that window uh, rights from there and let me tell you what this cell machine collider will do so basically let's move the player uh, right here all the way to this point and now let's play the game
and as you can see it will collide against to whatever which is on this default layer okay and as you can see this these pipes are on the default layer and basically this whole environment is on the default layer so if you check right here when we try to move the camera to that point as you can see it just simply collide with this pipes and it doesn't actually goes inside these pipes as you can see it collides against these pipes okay you can see the beautiful transition let's just skip that it moves down okay so for that purpose we use the sin machine collider and basically you can change the strategy to whatever you want for example if you want to preserve the camera height then you can do that and you can change the maximum effort the smoothing time damping and all of that you can change that to however you want it so now if we select this one as you can see now the strategy is now different and now for example if we change this to preserve distance uh, camera distance and as you will notice now it just preserve the distance okay you can simply see the transition okay so I like this full camera forwards which is more so I can just simply leave that on that one Okay, so this is it for the third person silly machine. Now let's drag and drop the aim silly machine and let's uh, unpack that completely and let's click on this to activate the aim silly machine. And as you can see, its priority is less than the third person silly machine because we want the game view to be in the third person silly machine and when the player clicks the right mouse button then we want to switch to the amps and machine okay so now you know what this body and this aim everything work okay so now basically you will uh, say to the uh, amps and machine to follow the player and also to look at the player okay now we have these four cameras and now let's deactivate that one and if we could uh, check this aim cinema machine as you can see it is not going that good so what we can do if we click on this body whoops and let's keep that really as it is let's move it a little bit down and basically we can leave that there let me first of all check this in the full view. Okay, I think this will be good like this. Okay, in the later videos we can change this to whatever we want, but for now use the aim silly machine as it is. But make sure that you add the layer transform to the follow and to the look at. Okay, and then all the settings will be the same. And we can basically just disable the games in the machine. With this done, we will just simply end this video right here. So, catch you guys in the next video.